Welcome back, I'm Vader Van Oden. And I'm Odin the Pirate. Arr. We're in a different location today. We're not in our usual games room. We're in Melbourne, Australia. That's right, Pirate Odin. Uh, we're on holiday and we had a very special day today, didn't we? Yes, we went to PAX. That's right, PAX Australia. And see, here's our, here's our passes, our fancy, shiny, glossy, real passes. It was lots of fun, wasn't it? Yes. It was. So this uh, video is a little recap we're going to do just to share with you what we saw and what we did. So where should we start? Should we start with, first off we'll start with what we, we donated a couple of bucks to get a Destiny 2 doggy cookie and it helps to go towards uh, helping the, the rescue dogs, the abandoned dogs that need help and we're going to take that home to our puppy. And I actually um, got to see too, there was like a brown and brown. They're the very pretty dogs, yeah. aren't they? Uh, next up, Bravon Studios, and they made cute little card games uh, for adults and for kids. It was the caterpillar and the kicking your ass game. Yeah, and, the and, there, uh, and there's a card called Kiss My Ass. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we played a little game called Framed, and this is a postcard we got from it. We also got some sweet sunglasses, but we left those at our friend's house. Frame was a cool little game. I believe it's out on iOS. And, it's, and what was cool about this game, Odin, was that you could move the frames of a comet to change the scenario. And it's like a little puzzle to work out yeah. how to move the guy around. You needed to get your character from one area to another, and there would be something stopping it, so you need to move that around. The next one was a lot of fun. This is a. Um, Fun game that you like to play, yeah. isn't it? What is the game? You tell the people. Um, it's called Dumb Ways to Die. Yep. I was I was terrible at it. Well, that's I think that's the point of the game. They gave us a free little book, um, and it's it's just it recaps Dumb Ways to Die. We'll just give you one. Invite a psycho killer inside. That is a dumb way to die. <laughs> that is a very dumb. Way. Poke a stick at a grizzly bear. That is a really dumb <laughs> idea. But what was cool about this is that they've got moved from an um, like an Android or an iOS uh, tablet and phone app to VR. And Odin, you tell the people about it because I didn't try it. Um, you did. So basic, there was a guy that you were camping. I was so terrible at it. Again, I think that's part of the fun. <laughs> yeah. There were hazards, and so you could light yeah. fires, and you had to keep them away from the fire. Yeah, and that's my problem. When you went to grab a marshmallow, it'd fall in the fire. Yeah, it would go too close <laughs> to the fire and it would just go and burn. And I also saw it he got cold because you, you couldn't light a fire yeah. and he turned to an ice block. Yeah. <laughs> and also you can pick him up and, and that's how you put him in to sleep. And also I put, I put him in the pond. Daddy. You put him in the pond, you meanie. Because it says don't waste to die, so it makes sense to make them die. We went to PAX on the release of Mario Odyssey. So at PAX we bought our own copy. Yeah. And Odin's had a quick go. Is it good? Excellent. Excellent so far. We also met a studio called No Moss Studios and they are working on a few phone apps and they're all free. Oh, yeah. uh, and they're just working on growing their studio and getting experience and they were really nice to talk to. And the apps was it was like a stock buying clicker game. Yeah. So you had to, to buy was, at the right time was, and you click. I was I, yeah, I started with $10 and I lost $83. And the other one was fun, a yeah. Monster Burger yeah. game. So like, I was trying it at first and then I just, just spammed it, I just spammed it. <laughs> and I was terrible. Uh, it was quite clever because it's not just uh, you're building burgers, it's not just time. There's also puzzles, the way that the ingredients come out, you have to work yeah. out how you lay like, them. Yeah, one of the orders was like, um, um, a bun and then two meat on top, no, no next bun. Oh, that's weird. This next one was really cool, um, especially since we're in Australia. It's made by a local studio in Victoria, Melbourne. Um, and it's, it's called Paper Bark, and you get to play as a little wombat wandering through the bush and wild, the wild terrain of Australia. And it's just gorgeous. The, the art style was fantastic. Yeah. Paperville Panic. Panic. That's right, Paper yeah. Phil Panic. And this I, was a really cute VR yeah, game. I really liked it. And the end was so hilarious. So, there was this like fire monster at the end. It threw flames at me and I burned in my uh -oh. head. Uh-oh. So the premise behind this game is that you are a firefighter who works in a town completely made of paper. 
So as you yeah. can imagine, things are very flammable and not very safe for firefighters. Yes. <laughs> and you're equipped with a water pistol. Well, you don't start with it. You try to get the axe and then you just That's right. You had to chop stuff. stuff. And then um, you had to smash the glass to grab the water pistol and screw it. Uh, next up was another indie game, and this one was, is called More Fight, and it had a lot of um, similarity to No Man's Sky. Um, and when I commented on that, the guy that was at the booth said, but it has a story. <laughs> but it has a story. <laughs> Which is a bit cheeky, but I get his point. We got a cute little dog. Um, Badge. It was on the Switch actually, which is really exciting. We like games on the Switch, don't we? Yes. He said that this, the planets were randomly generated. Um, not so as many as No Man's Sky, but it was a shooter. It's an exploration yeah. scanner um, shooter. He said the story ones don't randomly generate. No, that's right. You did you. Good memory, Odo. Well done. And it was a really nice game. It's out on Switch next week, I believe. Yeah, Pirate has got a great memory. Yeah, it's because you're missing an eye, you got extra brains yeah. where the eye should be. Yeah. I had a game called Projection, which was an indie showcase, I think it was, and it was really clever. Um, I don't have anything to show you from it, but um, it was really nice. It was a puppeteer show, and you ran around as a little puppet girl, like on a little stick, and then you got the ability to control an orb of light that you can move with your right stick, and the shadows cast is what you could walk on. Yeah, and it so was, you had I've to never use, seen anything like that. Yeah, you had to use the right. To, um, to make it so you could, to um, make shadows so you can stick with That is correct. We learned today that at PAX, people collect all the pins and they trade them and swap them and do all sorts. But we just wanted a Breath of the Wild yeah. one, didn't we? So we lined up for a half an hour and we got a really cool Penny Arcade Pin Trading Zelda Breath of the Wild. But pin. note, we'll never trade it. We won't. We're just going to stick that somewhere awesome and be happy with it. It's a double pin, so it's got two because it's big. And it's, it's really nice. It's just yeah. the logo from Breath of the Wild. There's a tabletop section and we found an expansion pack to our boss monster game. So yeah. we picked up that guy. We're going to play that when we get back home. So we got a free hat, computer, PC, gaming yeah. accessories. And we've got the Cool Masters, we've got a nice cap to take home with us. Odin's got My a game. My favourite, it's Goblins of Elder Stone. Yep. And this, guy, this is very interesting, these guys are from New Zealand like we are. Yeah. And we met them, the developers, there's two guys, they started with a bigger team, but they've downsized and they've made this massive game. Yeah. And it's great, it looks fantastic. Yeah. So basically, you, um, you build a tribe, you've got these like... Um, you can, yeah, you can go and you can go random, or you can, and you can choose gods to believe in. Yes. To follow and multiple that, gods. And what he told me that that changes your um, your development tree or your skill tree on how you progress through the game. Yeah, and you can have like um, enemies, and you can have um, you can like have peace, war, or something. Yep. So you can yeah, trade and, with and there are five gods that you can follow, I think. Odin had a good long play of it. He had played for about yeah. 20 minutes. He's watched a bit on YouTube as well. But I really want to shout out these guys. The guys were really uh, accommodating. They talked to me uh, for a long time. I explained the game wow, okay. while Odin was playing. It was... Um, it, it's a city builder. But yeah. you're goblins. It's, 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 yeah. it, and I only played the demo, but I can't wait for the beginning. The game releases on early access. Um, I think next month they said, and then he, um, he believed it would be an early access for a year before they have the full release. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it seemed really cool, uh, lots of layers. I asked the question, so if you've been playing for 10 hours with the same city, is there new things to be un unlocked? And he says yes, there'll be things. As the further you get into the game, it will constantly be unlocking um, and giving you like, things. I if you like uh, city builders, you give this, this a go. It's on Steam, early access next month, November. And then lastly, we got another board game to play. Yeah. King, I find this one hard to say. Kingdom, King Domino. King Domino. See, I, can't, I always want to say Kingdom Innos, but it's no. King Dominoes. Um, there is also a Queen Dominoes, but yeah. we got we picked this up because it's a bit smaller, so we can fly yeah. it on easier. Yeah, and also um, it's less complicated. Yep, but we, we met some guys who um, were able to show us how to play, and it looked like a lot of fun. 15 minutes with two to four players, um, so us and the, the family can play together in a quick short time. So we're super excited to add that into our um, gaming library, and we're just pretty excited about it. So all in all, packs a lot of fun. Um, some other things, we played Dragon Ball Z 
fighter, Dragon oh, yeah. Ball Fighter Z yeah. fighters, okay. and how cool is that? Awesome. It was pretty fun, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, you beat me round one, I beat him round two. Kuni 2, which was a lot oh, of fun. Yeah. I love that one. First one was awesome. Yeah, Odin did like a big battle and I yeah. fought like a big troll monster. It was really awesome. Yeah, I had like this um, smaller cutish one. You had this like more realistic one. Uh, I think the large scale battles make your characters all small and cute. And then when you're in, what, when you're in more detailed combat, you look like normal sprites. Yeah, mine but, yeah. was super cool. I could like move around the army and they had special abilities. It was pretty cool. I loved it. Yeah, no, we'll probably, probably try and pick that up too. And we didn't get to play it. Um, I'm going to try and jump on it tomorrow. But as you can see, we've got I've got a new tattoo, <laughs> and it's got an eye patch because we're turned into pirates. Uh, we came across the booth for Sea of Thieves, and I'll give that a go tomorrow, and I'll report back. But yeah, we we just thought it was a lot of fun when we got a free funny tattoo and an yeah, eye we patch. Got two, we got two eye patches and two tattoos. Tattoo sleeves. Alright, um, so yeah, that's PAX. If you've got any questions, chuck them below. Uh, we really enjoyed it. We're glad we could go. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.